Hi, I'm Bruno Guerra, and what I want to do right now is give you a, a short overview about Code Exchange and uh, what the basic functionality is that is provided to you. So, what I do, I will just type in the the hyperlink to Code Exchange, and will log on with my user. So, currently, the system is still in a closed beta phase, and um, will be publicly available in some weeks. Um, the landing page here is my uh, view on the content on Code Exchange. Um, you see here on, my, on the left hand side I can see my projects, um, meaning the projects I'm working on, including the latest latest activity um, on each of them. And uh, if I somehow want to change what I um, see here, I can simply edit my view. And uh, let's assume I don't want to have this uh, watch attack uh, component anymore. I just click here on remove and add something different like, let's say, recent activity. I publish the layout and need to confirm it. Okay, and here it is. So just change the few that I um, used. Now let's go into more details. Uh, what I will do, I will just select one of those projects here and I will get the project landing page. As you see, Code Exchange um, will be included in SDN and the SDN navigation also with this Code Exchange tab here. So let's go now into the project landing page. Um, that can, by the way, also be customized as uh, my um, user view because in this project I'm the project lead so I can customize it in the same way like I just did with my personal page. Let's assume I don't want to have this dashboard I just remove it and publish the layout. So you see here on the right hand side all the actions that I can do as a project member uh, starting discussions, creating documents, and so on and so forth. So I will just go through each of those tabs here and give you some explanatory um, information about this. On the Members tab you will see which members are in this project. And with this hyperlink here, Manage Project Members, you can quickly change the um, the roles of each member. Let's assume I want to change the roles for Irwin, so I want to ha have him as an administrator, just clicking on OK, and he has now a uh, changed um, role, this project. Let's go back again to the Code Exchange project. So under Discussions you have the possibility to start a discussion or ask a question for this project. This is possible for all project members. Um, Additionally, you can also add documents belonging to this project, like tutorials, for example, or any other document you would like to share which is relevant to your project. Maybe starting a blog in your project um, for certain things you want to tell others about what you are doing in this project. You also have an issue tracking mechanism here uh, built in, where you can see uh, bugs or feature requests and so on. You can organize your releases of the source code that you might have um, by with this releases tab. And finally also browse through the source code that you have which is on a subversion system by just opening up here those um, links and finally also having a look at the source code. So just clicking back and that's mainly it. So a very a basic functionality of um, a code sharing platform, but that's, that was the initial idea, just to provide a very basic functionality uh, for the community. And uh, after that, together with uh, the SAP mentors, we will work on providing a very well-fitting platform for the SAP community. Hope this was useful for you and see you soon.